hello everyone are you familiar with the database transaction not so let's watch the video so database transactions are used when we are performing some operations like in this case we are performing two operations and we want to save them into the database so when them then both of the, them are successful uh, when one is failed and one is successful we are not going to save uh, one event we will we want to make this roll back so how we can do this in our laravel application so db transactions uh, helps us to uh, make this very easy so let's go to the project and uh, implement it with the real time and uh, in this application i have a simple route uh, this name is test uh, and uh, the controller is user controller and having a method of test so let's go to the controller and this is a test method and here i implemented this try catch block right and i am catching this exception here right so i am creating a user and then uh, storing a post right so let's go to the route and uh, open this route right test hit enter and yes it's returning success so it means that it saved the record right so for now uh, in the previous uh, there is no record in the database so it's uh, created this john and uh, created this post also right so if i go here and uh, uh, made some changes here and also changes here because uh, email is unique right make this three and uh, i have made a typo here why because this will be created and this will be not created right save this one give it a refresh and yes it's throwing the title does not have a default value exception which is uh according to mass fillable mass uh, fillable property right so it means that this user will be created and this post is not created so let's go to the database and check that down three is uh, created or not so post is not created let's go to the database uh, user table and yes this user is created so how we can uh, how we can uh, get rid of this uh, if uh, this post is not created we want to roll back this uh, user also right so there is very simple method which is provided by laravel so let's uh, remove this try catch blocks there is no need of this try catch okay and uh, then you need to copy your logic here okay these two logic and then you need to implement this db and uh, my text editor is added added this uh, db facade at the top right and then method name is transaction so this is a closure oops this is a closure so you need to implement your code inside this db transaction right so it's a db transaction so let me make this clear okay we have this code the first is creating the user and second one is post right so let me uh, change this email to 10 right so i have uh, i am creating this user and uh, this post is not going to create why because this is having a typo in the column right so this uh, 10 user will not be created so in the database we have a uh, uh, id of two so it means that whenever the next user will be created it will it would be three but we are not going to create this we want to make this rollback so its id would be four when the new user will be created right so let's go here and give it a refresh and yes it's now we are not catching any exception so it's throwing this uh, default exception so it means that the user is not going to create user is not created right and uh, the post is also not created so let's go to the user table back and here the user is rolled back which means that it's uh, created first uh, with the id of three and it's rolled back so if i uh, uh, made this uh, typo correct so it will create the user with the id of four so it means that it's auto incrementing right so you know about this id so let's give it a refresh here and yes success so it means that user and post is created hit enter 
and yes it's uh, increasing increment with this four why because three is a auto increment by uh this primary key uh, this id column and it's auto incremented added in the database but the post is failed here that's why it's rolled back and now this one is added and post is also added so let's go to the database and yes post is also added so it means that we can implement this with the very uh, simple way right so there is also another way you can do this with this uh, manual thing right you can define your logic uh, like uh, you can begin your transaction if you want to make this customize like you want to make this using try quest block so you uh, you can start this tv transaction like this so whenever uh, you want to start this so you implement this right and uh, in the catch block you can define this right uh when there is any exceptions it will roll back and in the success you can define this uh, comments so it will comment your changes so this is the manual process and if you are using this db transactions you, you don't need to uh, comment and stuff like that so it's very simple so that's it for this video and if you are uh, still more interested to learn more about the laravel subscribe the youtube channel and watch the upcoming videos bye bye